All right, example one, which is called a grouped frequency um, graph or group frequency histogram and polygon. And it's called a grouped frequency um, histogram and polygon because we've got these class intervals here. All right, they're not just scores this time. Now, you've got a couple of options here. And I'll show you the option that I don't like first, just because it, it takes longer and harder, it's harder to fit in. You could say, all right, this line here is going to be 170 to 174. That's the interval we're going to use there. But I don't like that because it, it's really cramming things in there. Instead, we can use our class center. And I mentioned that earlier that I'll explain why we have class center. This is why. So you can draw histograms and, and polygons. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to put my class center there. So we have uh, one, 172, the next one being 177. Now it's still going to be a bit crammed, so I'm going to bring the line down a bit, 177, then 182, 187, and 192. So they've given us an extra couple of marks which we don't need to use. All right, now it's really good to label your axes. This one's labeled as frequency, which is your numbers 1, 2, 3, it's not always going to go by ones, but in this case it's going to work. And we should label this axis, we'll call this the height of the basketball players in, um, it's, is it in centimeters? Yes, in centimeters. So that people know what these numbers represent. All right, now, um, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use the drawing tools because it's really hard for me to write in, um, to do straight lines using the pen here. So. We need to start by drawing some bars. And the 172 has a frequency of 2. So we're going to draw this like so. Excellent. Okay, and then the next one, the 177, has a frequency of 3. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to go up to 3. All right, notice that I don't put a gap between the two bars. There is like a little half gap at the beginning. That's that's good too. Very important you have that. Um, but you shouldn't have gaps between your bars. All right, 182 should have a frequency of 7. And 187 should have a frequency of 5. And, oh, there's a little gap there, but we'll let that slide for now. 192 has a frequency of 3. All right, so there's our frequency histogram drawn. Basically looks like a bar graph. Now we're going to do the polygon. Now, in the previous example that I showed you, the histogram and the polygon were separate. You are allowed to draw them on the same graph. It just saves time. You don't have to draw two, two graphs then. All right, I'm going to cheat again. I'm going to use lines. Actually, no, I'll start. I'm, I'm going to start with a pen. I'm going to. It's important to actually start by drawing dots, and we'll do this one in red. And instead of drawing bars, you draw dots above it. So 172 has a frequency of two. 172 frequency two. 177 frequency three. 182 frequency seven. Notice the dot is directly above that little dash there. Next one and next one. Okay, now um, also you want a dot on the corner right at the zero and another dot right on the zero straight after the 192. This is really important because they want you to start at zero and end, end at zero when you do polygons. All right, now we're going to draw our lines. We're just going to connect the dots. I'm just going to get a red line because I just cannot draw straight on my writing pad. Seems to be chucking a little hissy fit right now, it's not helping me. Alright, there you go. We'll draw a line there. Now we want a red line, nice and thick. Seems to want to do a, an orange line, let's fix that up. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to connect the dots. So, the 
with nice straight lines. So you should be doing this with the ruler. Oh, there we go. It's done. 